Happening today, more buses filled with migrants taken from the Texas border will arrive at the Port Authority. CBS's John Diaz is live at the Port Authority in Midtown. John, how does the city plan to accommodate the nearly 6,000 migrants who have arrived since May? Good morning, both of you. Well, we can tell you that by they first start doing that by uh, actually greeting them here at the Port Authority bus terminal, which is uh, what they plan on doing here later on this morning, uh, sending bilingual reps since many of these migrants actually don't even speak any English. But the next, though, that comes the tricky part, which is finding them housing. Imagine traveling from Texas on a bus with limited resources. And they're coming to New York City, getting off that bus with nothing. And it's up to New York City Social Services Commissioner Gary Jenkins to feed, clothe, and find accommodations for these asylum seekers. In an exclusive sit down interview with CBS 2's political reporter, Marsha Kramer, he held nothing back. They're getting off the bus dehydrated. Some need medical attention. You know, we even had a person that came here, you know, tested positive for COVID. The numbers are astounding. Nearly 6,000 migrants arriving here by busloads sent by the Texas governor to be taken care of by New York City. While New York is a sanctuary city, these asylum seekers are overloading an already stressed housing system with 50,000 homeless people in the city shelters every single night. And now the Department of Investigations is looking into how the commissioner is handling the process. He may have violated the law after a handful of migrants were forced to spend extra hours in this Bronx intake center. Families must be placed by 4 a.m. A law passed years ago when the center was notorious for making people sleep on the floor for days. And some allege the commissioner tried to cover this up. It's false. That is a false um, allegation. Within an hour, I let um, the deputy mayor know that we had four families at PATH that were not placed by 4 a.m. My personality and my, and my work ethic is not to hide anything. Jenkins says he and the city are working hard to provide aid, already opening 13 hotels for extra beds. But since so many people need a roof over their heads, the Adams administration has issued an emergency solicitation, seeking bids for up to 5,000 units in commercial hotels and other facilities that have to be able to provide services on a 24-hour notice. We're hoping that they come to us with locations, um, with, with viable locations. We're not going to uh, place um, individuals into, you know, secondary um, standard type of locations. Now, the commissioner says that the Adams administration is also committed uh, to finding some job help, some job training for these migrants, and also making sure that they get their kids inside uh, the public city school systems. We will be learning more about that plan later on this morning, so we will keep you updated. But for now, we are live this morning from outside the Port Authority bus terminal here in Midtown. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.